Hey you guys, LH back at it you guys. I got some new technology. I got this iPhone X. You guys, I'm gonna see what this iPhone can do, but I'm gonna get some more technology in the way, but this should be a good start. So as you can see, I'm in my pajamas. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about some, some serious things, but to get you guys caught up, I've had a busy, like, uh, fall. Um, I just turned uh, 26 on the 28th. My birthday was this past week. And yeah, so uh, I'm just happy to see another day, see, you know, be here another year. And, you know, kind of uh, just welcome this this new growth that I'm, you know, this journey that I'm pursuing. And and I'm, I'm embarking on my own journey. And I, I just appreciate you guys, you know, tagging along and being along with me for the ride. And um, I just got, I want to thank you guys so much for your support and um, just just your kind words. And, you know, it's much appreciated. But um, yeah, I have some good news. I've gotten uh, uh, one person, one of my roommates is gone, thank God. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys, uh, we're going, we're gonna get this started. So uh, if you guys have not been seeing um, this circulating, Libya is basically on some slave shit. Like, they have these people, these Libyans, these native Libyans, like under gunpoint and all of this stuff. And it's crazy. Like, I don't know what the hell, what kind of shit, what, what, what post race, racism, race system, you guys, what, what certain people think is a post race system. But that is not a that's not reality because obviously you have this going on in obviously Africa, of all places, and um, I just think it's crazy and ironic when people say that we're past that. Stop bringing up slavery, but then you have this going on in your face, and then you know just all these stories coming out revealing itself, but. I want to kind of uh, let this video speak for itself. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll get back to the commentary, okay? <laughs> A man addressing an unseen crowd. Big strong boys for farm work, he says. 400. 700. 700. 800. The numbers roll in. These men are sold for 1,200 Libyan pounds, $400 a piece. You are watching an auction of human beings. Another man, claiming to be a buyer. Off camera, someone asks, what happened to the ones from Niger? Sold off he's told. CNN was sent this footage by a contact. After months of working, we were able to verify the authenticity of what you see here. We decided to travel to Libya to try and see for ourselves. We're now in Tripoli and we're starting to get a little bit more of a sense of how this all works. Our contacts are telling us that there are one to two of these auctions every month and that there is one happening in the next few hours. So we're gonna head out of town and see if we can get some sort of access to it. For the safety of our contacts, we have agreed not to divulge the location of this auction, but the town we're driving to isn't the only one. Night falls. We travel through nondescript suburban neighborhoods, pretending to look for a missing person. Eventually, we stop outside a house like any other. Adjust our secret cameras. And wait. Finally, it's time to move. 
were ushered into one of two auctions happening on this same night. Crouched at the back of the yard, a floodlight obscuring much of the scene, one by one men are brought out as the bidding begins. 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 700. Very quickly, it's over. We ask if we can speak to the men. The auctioneer, seen here, refuses. We ask again if we can speak to them, if we can help them. No, he says. The auctions are over, we're told. And we're asked to leave. That was over very quickly. We walked in. And as soon as we walked in, the men started covering their faces, but they clearly wanted to finish what they were doing. And they kept bringing out what they kept referring to in Arabic as al buda the merchandise. All in all, they admitted to us that there were 12 Nigerians that were sold in front of us. And I... I honestly don't know what to say. That was probably one of the most unbelievable things I've ever seen. If they don't want to take us to Italy, let, them, let, let us take us to our various countries. These men are migrants with dreams of being smuggled to Europe by sea. Excuse me, can I speak to you? We are going inside. Have a seat in your place. Have a seat in your place. They come in their thousands from Niger, Mali, Nigeria, Ghana. It's hard to believe that these are the lucky ones, rescued from warehouses like the one in which we witnessed the auction. They're sold if those warehouses become overcrowded or if they run out of money to pay their smugglers. Of these rescued men, so many here say they were held against their will. It doesn't take us long to find victory. Just take us home. No food. Just take us home, want to go, no food, no water, nothing. Victory was a slave. We know that some people are being sold. Yes. Some people are being sold. Is this yes. something you've heard about? Can you tell yes. us about it? Sure. Tell us. I was sold. What happened? On my way from here, I was sold. Merciless beating. If you look at most of the people here, if you check their body, you see the mark, they're beating. With electric, even your boot or they took something, something like a sharp object. Understand? Most of them lost their life there. Um, I was there, the, the person who came to buy me, give the man money. They took me out home. So the money was not even much. Other migrants now start to come forward with their stories. They took people to work by force. Even where we are at the seaside, where we are, where we are, where are working the work, they will be beating you. When you are working the work, I'm doing your work. They will be maltreating us. But I promise you, I will take care of your husband and the others. Anas Al Azabi is the supervisor here. With no international support, it's his job to look after the captured migrants until they can be deported. He says every day brings fresh heartbreak. It's okay. I'm suffering for them. I am suffering for them. What I have seen here daily, believe me, make me really feel pain for them. They come and every story is a special case. Few, they, they was abusing them, few, they, they stole them money. Have you heard? about people being auctioned off, about migrants being sold? Honestly, we hear the rumors, but there is nothing is obvious in front of us. We don't have uh, evidence. But we now do. CNN has delivered this evidence to the Libyan authorities who have promised to launch an investigation so that scenes like this are returned to the past. Namal Bagher, CNN, Libya. So, you guys, um, I definitely think there's a problem with this whole picture. Like, how, obviously, 
our our news stations don't care about what's going on. And even though I hate to admit, like I really don't like this person that much, but like, like I mean, but she says some real shit. Like out of all people, Cardi B saying that the United Nations, the news don't care because it's benefiting them. They still have resources that they're that they're essentially trying to get in Africa, but they don't care about the people. That's basically what it is. That's why we don't hear too much about this on the news stations. That's why we keep seeing the reposts on social media, Instagram, because it is benefiting them and they don't care. This needs to be stopped and something must be done about this. And I'm going to continue to get this word out because um, stuff like this shouldn't happen. So you guys, yeah, um, that was very deep, wasn't it? You know, as I think about it, too, I had someone that I recent that, you know, recently talked to that I care, care for good person. Um. But what she said did it obviously didn't sit right with me. And this is the type of stuff, the trap that we can get ourselves into if we're not careful. This type of mindset. When we justify what's happening to other people because of what has happened to us. I I talked about, I brought up this particular story about, you know, the Libyans being enslaved, and it looked like, you know, by other by other uh uh, it looked like by some Middle Eastern people or and white people I saw. But not only that, you know, I think there were some Africans, other black Africans involved. But, you know, what she said is something that I, I, should not be brought into 2018, this mindset. Well, Africans enslaved other Africans. Yeah, that's true. But that doesn't justify the current injustices that's going on today. That should never justify what's going on today and why people, you see this in 2017. Like I said, this this is, people want to act like this is a post-racial society where everybody's cool. As you can see, the man who is, I'm, I can say, um, I would even argue is a br bring people together, but this man clearly showed Pulled the cloak over what white supremacy <laughs> is live and thriving. Racism still exists. It's never gone anywhere. And if you think it's gone away, you're a damn fool. Where have you been at? But with this, something needs to be done. Um, get that message out, you guys. Share, like, subscribe, show this video, um, just get this message out, uh, repost any post of your own about this, but this can't be ignored. This, this is a problem. This is a problem for society. This should not be going on. One person enslaved, we're all enslaved, you know, an injustice Somewhere is a justice everywhere. And that's how I look at it. All right, you guys. Peace and love.